and welcome back to another episode of Talking Tech. <laughs> Speaking, that's, we're actually on time, sort of. You know. I'm on. This says 801 here for me. Yeah, I say. Yeah, mine says not eight. Oh, sorry, 759. So, <laughs> how are we all going? Hope I'll everyone is okay. Um, we're just doing all our social media thing at the moment, which is absolutely fantastic. How has everyone's weekend been? Um, obviously, a few of you guys were on last night. I was testing my new MBN service. How'd it go? Actually, you, you were one of the um, the pictures on the other side. Pictures unreal. It should be unreal for you guys tonight as well. Let us know if there's any issues, any sound problems. Mike is on, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> That's a start. Yeah. This, this is this is brand new beginnings. I know. I and know. And it's thanks to you want to finish it. Who? You've got new internet. Yeah, I got new internet. Holy shit! So, um, a company called Melbourne ISP. Uh, absolutely been fantastic. Um, I cannot commend them enough um, on their services and as much as they're trying to obviously get our studio up and running with MBN, they tried their damn hardest. Um, and I think there's still more work to do. A lot more work to do. To get, but, some, to get some megabits. So today I um, I think Matt and my admin team were the first ones to see it, um, saw the MBN service, the new studio, and how was it? Mm. So I was getting about 95 down and 40 up, I think it was. Mind you guys, the maximum is 140. Yeah, so, so that's, that's I'm literally maxing good. out, yeah. That's pretty good. We've, we've gone from having to use mobile phones yep. to stream, having to use 4G devices to stream, yep. having to use shitty ADSL2 to stream, to this. What a, what a, what a wonderful welcome world. To no, 20, no welcome potato. to 2018. No, I more, potato. Say. no <laughs> more potato, finally. So we've got some good news and some other news as well today. Um, so PC419 has um, another streamer. It's Eleanor. So she's actually in the chat at the moment. It's Eleanor2424. So do um, obviously join into her Twitch channel. Um, the link will be in there any minute now. It should come up automatically. As soon as that comes up, um, have a bit of a read. Go to her channel. Follow. Subscribe. Do what you can for her. She's a good girl. Um, so just started today. So hopefully all goes well. So far, I can say that um, she's you know going to fit well with the PC Four One family, so which is good. Welcome, Elena. Um, now, before we do continue, there's something special on today. Sorry, I'm just adding. There is a something special on today. Can you pass it? Yeah, something special. Oh yeah, we've got another PC giveaway. Yeah. Well, te- technically, it is. Isn't technically, it? technically, <laughs> it is a PC. Today we have iPad Pro. So it is a 32 gig iPad Pro, 12.9 inch, one of the big ones, which is. Absolutely awesome. I was doing some reading on this, and I could be wrong, but I was actually talking to a couple of guys in Discord last night, and apparently yeah. it has a 120 hertz screen. Yes, it does. I think. A 120 hertz screen. I actually, own, I actually own one. It was good. It is literally a laptop, a big iPad as a laptop, and yeah, you've got to be, a lot, you, have to, you have to have a lot of uses for it. For a screen that size. Oh, of course. Of That's course, pretty much. If you're one that likes to sit, sit in bed or um, sit on the couch and just watch movies, TV perfect. shows, absolutely, it's perfect. perfect. You're gonna, perfect. actually going to love it. Perfect. So, this is obviously <laughs> thank you, uh, thanks to B3G. Yes, sir. Uh, so we thank them very much for uh, donating this to you guys uh, across for us to give away. So That's thank exactly you very much. Right. If you guys don't know who B3G are, you can join in the link. Well, B3G is a fairly new uh, retail store online. They've, um, they've been trying to. Thank you very much, Slick, and thank you. Oh, we've doubled up. <laughs> whoa, 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 doubled up. We're doubling up. Thank you, Slick. And well, thank you, Slick. There's two, there's two <laughs> notifications, and there you go. it's gone. Um, Thanks, Slick. Um, Cheers, buddy. So, thank you for the host, Slick. So, B3G are a new online retail store. Pretty much have everything what the other retail stores have. Uh, they've, been, they've been trying to get a hold of me for the last three months now. Um, so, I finally said hello, and you know, we had a few more discussions regarding what their interests are. And um, I've agreed to, so we've put them on the PC419 bandwagon, so they're with us as well. Thank you very much, Eleanor. Appreciate for the host. Thank you. Um, so, into that, con- 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 well, con- congratulate and thank B3G. As also, we have a $50 PLE voucher tonight to give away. Um, PLE have been with us for a very long time, and they're you know one of the one of one of our best supporters so far, as you can say. So, thank you, PLE. Also, thank you to Battable and. Cool master for the MK750 that I always use for the stream. So, watch out for the um, review soon-ish. 
<laughs> the review that'll have the keyboard <laughs> k- keyboard which is dirty on it because it's been using it day in day out if you haven't seen the um, probably the 20 second clip um, that we created for this like the sexual music <laughs> I absolutely love it so I, I love if you haven't it. go onto the PC phone on web, um, Facebook page it's on there go to the videos and you'll be able to see that clip so thank you Call Master for that <laughs> guys we've got a very busy and fun filled night tonight we haven't got that much to talk about that sort of new product coming out wise tonight we've got a lot of news there's actually a lot, mm. a lot of news that's been happening yeah, lately so exactly, exactly. we'll put I think there's one or two topics um, hello Jordy yep g'day uh, yeah so that we'll talk about that one or two topics throughout the night but we've got quite a few for the gaming section mm-hmm. and we've got quite about 11 or 12 topics I don't know if we'll get through them from the uh, from the general talking tech section exactly so right yeah. we'll smash it out and see and also go. some more PC419 news so, always PC419 news always PC419 news always PC419 news um before we start, um, going back to the PLE fifty dollar voucher mm-hmm. thing, uh, I'd like to congratulate on stage Joe who won last week. I think yes, it was last did. week. Yep. Uh, and Joe actually went and bought himself from PLE a, uh, a gaming controller. Oh, nice. Um, one of the arcade ones. Yep. Uh, I think the the rectangle one uh, or the SNES looking ones with the uh, coloured buttons and stuff like that. Absolutely loves it. So congratulations, man. There you go. Put to good use. Thank you, PLE. Well, someone tonight is actually going to have an absolute ball when they eventually get their um, iPad Pro. So, the guys, this iPad, uh, might I add as well? I was doing some research on it last night because I've never actually seen an iPad Pro. Hmm? Ne- never. I, I, I've never technically seen one still. But I've had s- I've had both versions to be honest. Have like, you? Yeah, nine point seven and. 7. I can 5. see the box right now. It is bloody huge. Um, yeah. But this iPad retails for twelve hundred. Twelve hundred dollars, and we're giving it away on the show tonight. There you go. So it's like literally. 1080 Ti. Oh, you got an <laughs> Xbox One controller. There you go. So it wasn't an arcade one. You, you fail. You fail. Arcade's cooler, buddy. And it, well, it still... Didn't you get, didn't hey, get that wrong? No, he didn't, he didn't complain, did he? <laughs> no, Xbox well, he got, got for free. Can't argue, man. Can't argue. Only on Talking Tech. Uh, that's it. Only on Talking Tech. All right. There you go. DJ Konji. Konji. He's already, man, he's already, already hope... started with the entries. What's that? <laughs> Hashtag PC for no, no, yeah, <laughs> never wants that. Actually, yeah, well, what we do is we might even start that from now. I'll, let me add that into. Yeah, this. so we'll start the um, we'll start what DJ Conji just did. Uh, that doesn't count though, buddy, because it, it hasn't started just yet. We'll start in a second. You'll see the message pop up in the chat. Uh, as soon as it starts up, everyone type in hashtag TC four nine PLE. You know what okay. to do if you watched the previous weeks. We'll give you a fifty dollar voucher to my lucky person. Here we go. It's open. Guys, get in early. You get in early because it's going to be late. It's going to be done late. Get in early, come on. We want somebody to, to buy some new tech. Here you go. Also, too, in the chat, um, the admins are having a bit of a look out. So, we might as well start with... I want to actually bring it up now. Beautiful, guys. Oh, Melissa's in the chat. G'day, Melissa. I've got to talk to you after the show. PM me. Don't forget. Oh, really? Got the keycaps. Oh, host yeah. of radio, thank you very thank much. Thank you, hosted. Host. Cheers. All right, so going on to PC four one nine. All right, so what's the first topic tonight? Um, so looking at PC four one nine here, I was going to say um, the website is coming along very very well. Um, I should say. So we've got our review side. We're going to have our talking tech, um, obviously video feed here from straight from YouTube. Our latest reviews as well. So you can directly watch them from the talking uh, from PC Four Nine's website, if you if you wish, or you can go straight to the playlist if you like. Latest modding, uh, what was that? Let's see. It. Might be seeing. I'll grab that once again. Sean Tanos, thanks for the follow, Thank buddy. You for welcome, the follow. welcome. I haven't seen you before. Hope you're doing well, mate. I hope you come in with your with a bit of luck on your side tonight. You're gonna win yourself an iPad Pro, hopefully. Thank you. Um. So we got also our test post at the moment. Well, it is a test post. It's going to come from the forums. Uh, and we've got the merch store as well. So tonight we're going to be selecting a few members um, of PC419, you know, community to start beta testing the site. So pretty much just testing the site, testing the forums out. So if anyone is interested, uh, put your name down or say, I'm interested in the, in the chat. And my admins will start picking out names and we'll start adding you to the groups. Like, yep. We need people to test it because it is a vast. It looks, although it looks simple, it looks simple, doesn't it? 
it yeah. looks at, which is what we're, what we're going for. Much. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's very vast in terms of uh, what you can do. So you can actually, I believe you can log in, create an account, log in. There's a forum, uh, an interactive forum where you can create threads, topics and stuff like that. Yeah. There's, uh, what else is there? There's the ability to uh, do a bit of a bio on yourself as well. So you got here, you got community forum, PC go. Forum Gaming, the merch store, modding, contact us. So if you go to the community forums, you can just go straight here. So we've got a test topic on here. And there you go. It's a bit of a testing we've been doing for the last probably week or so. So it looks, it's getting, it's getting there pretty well. Yep. DJ um, Konji, thanks for the host, buddy. Thank you. And yeah, so we're got, getting there slightly. We're getting yeah, there. and you got the merch store. So if you click on the merch store. Does it look like me? What looks like me? And this is the PC49 merch store, as you can see here. Uh, it's still in development, but it's going to get there. And then um, obviously you've got the um, talking tech banner as well, so which will flip over. So it's gonna be, it's gonna get a lot there. So hopefully within the next week or two, we should be up to date. Um, we've got a few more people actually giving a hand, helping us as yeah, well at the same we're time. Gonna, we're gonna hammer it out and get so it. So try available. and hammer it out. Hopefully by next, next talking tech will be up and running on both sites properly. And then um, during this, during that time, we should have very um, probably good feedback from our members that's actually testing it out. And hopefully if there's no bugs in it, we'll go live and it's open for everyone. There's still, there's still a vast number of items that have to go live on the oh, merchandise yeah, store though yeah, as well, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Exactly so right. we'll add all them because I know that there's quite a few people keen. Yep. Uh, Joe says, uh, you said it looks simple, very funny. I would go with clean, not simple. And just because of that, you said you want to buy shit from the store. I'm going to put up 50 bucks just for you. <laughs> <laughs> simple is clean. So there's there's clean, like where a website can be clean and it could be simple and clean, which means it's, you know, literally means. If you had to see me about three or four hours ago I wasn't clean because I'm actually I was actually I've been feeling shit house today to be honest yeah yeah and uh yeah I had to have a shave and stuff for talking tech tonight so yeah should have just left it oh, no, yeah. <laughs> no we would have scared everybody alright guys we're gonna get away <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna head over to the first topic for the night oh yeah we most certainly are <laughs> alright so we're talking about this last week um it was a bit of a funny one so Elon Musk rebrands so Elon Musk was selling flamethrowers so apparently the um, spoke about the, this last week the, a lot of the, the governments around the world are hounding him for um, what's it security not security um, border security is handing him because apparently they're flamethrowers so what he's done was Elon Musk has rebranded <laughs> the company or rebranded the rebranded the actual yeah, boxes the and product. so forth product he's called it not a flamethrower and he's called not a flamethrower <laughs> and what's he saying it's just, um, it's just a heater so, so Flame heater or it's, something? It's called a temperature enhancement device. Temperature enhancement device. <laughs> is, is so, what he's passing as. Apparently he's got he's got over he's got millions of orders for him, apparently. Millions of orders. And he's having trouble shipping them. Obviously, because they're they're bloody flamethrowers. Is that? Uh sorry, hidden envy. Why is Ken Block's unicorn there, Lee? I have nothing against it. Just wondering if there's no, nah, it's just just one that I plucked, buddy. So we'll we'll change them up, but um, yeah, oh, just something we chuck together. Quickly. Oh, I saw the gaming thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I actually asked Matt to change that like a long time ago. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll change it tonight. But um, yeah. So Elon Musk actually tweeted. Uh, apparently, some customs agencies are saying they won't allow shipment of anything called a flamethrower. Yeah. To solve this, we are renaming it not a flamethrower. Not a flamethrower. <laughs> and that was liked by eighty-five point one thousand people. Well, apparently Pew Pew died. Um, Pew died. Or Pew, Pew Pew died. We actually, PewDiePie. PewDiePie. <laughs> no, no, no. Couldn't get the word out. Um, ordered one. No, he ordered a couple. Oh, did he? No, yeah, he ordered not, not just one. Not just one. So apparently, some customers. Did we order one? No, we haven't ordered one, mate. Mm, we, we should order one. I wonder how much are they? Has he got a website for them? Well, you must. Some people ordering it. Let's have a look. Uh, apparently, some customs agents are particularly fussy about allowing shipments uh, of items dubbed as flamethrowers. Obviously, wouldn't you expect not? Uh, and it's rather understandable when the first thoughts prompted are the harmful military-grade variants that spit flames between 30 feet and a whopping 100 feet. That's a long way. Mm. Uh, and the fact that Elon Musk has managed to sell all 20 there you go 20,000 units of this so-called flamethrower. So I said million. How many? How many did he make? Twenty thousand. No, no, no. How, how many did he make? Oh, like four point seven million. It's like four point eight million. I think that was in the millions, yeah. but he sold twenty thousand. He sold a lot more to sell, buddy. Hurry up. There you go. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Would you guys buy one? Can we get our own, not a flamethrower PC for one edition? <laughs> to be honest, I feel like using one right now, but yeah. Should I actually get in contact with him mm -hmm. and and partner up? Oh yeah. We'll do a um. I don't know. Put our branding on it. Thank you for the follow. That's pretty cool. 
Sorry? Rich, thanks, thanks for following, mate. Um, yeah, put like the, the PC4 on the logo wrapped around it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a long-range candle, exactly Pretty much, right, yeah. Josh. That's exactly, exactly right, right mate. Barbecue, transit the barbecue. <laughs> you know, Can you imagine going bar- out there, going out there on a nice sunny day, just put your meat on a hot plate, and just, just jump No, it, no, you just put it like two rocks, like a grilling plate, yeah, you know? Yeah, and, and just get the flames, <laughs> flames right from underneath. And just For some reason, every time I think of a flamethrower, like I'm a massive um, Aliens, Aliens fan of the movies, and every time I just think of a flamethrower, I always think of Aliens too, or Alien, or Aliens, I should say. Um, was one 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 of the guys has got a flamethrower, and it's just, yeah. For some reason, it always reminds me of that. Yeah, you're a fan of uh, memorabilia too. I'm surprised you don't have it. Mm. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, Athena says at PC four nine, do we need to enter the Twitter for the iPad? Uh, it, it is a requirement. Um, I'll message B three G if C if it's allowed that you don't have to go into it. So, also, I'll let you know. Because um, obviously not everyone has Twitter, so there should be some sort of clause behind it. Yeah, I actually got a couple of messages saying yeah. uh, a couple of days before saying you know we don't have. Lazy play. game are you? What's cracking? What is cracking, mate? Hey, buddy, have you joined the competition to win the iPad that we're giving away tonight? Or mm. baked beans coming just in time? What's going on, mates? I saw you streaming last night, Rainbow Six. Uh, show us now. It shoots out a flame in the in the PC four on logo shape. Oh yeah. That, that would be amazing. A hundred feet of PC four and nine. That that would be so good. I'll message B three G now. Okay. Athena, let me. I'll let you know. All right. So we'll get that sorted for you, Athena. That's actually quite a good point. I do know that you have to, have to, have to. All of you guys that are in here right now, I hope one of you guys wins because you have to be watching the show to win. Yeah. Laser Gamma. Yes, we have the iPad Pro to give away tonight. So if you go to the link that I'm about to do for you now. Because it ends tonight, it's for an iPad Pro. Share it as much as you can. We currently have how many entries? Just redoing it. Four thousand five hundred and sixty entries. So it's pretty good. Let's, let's pretty good it, chances. Let's get it smashed. Let's and it's got sixty-one minutes to go. It's going to be me. Cry. I hope so, mate. I hope so. So that's the competition. And while we're here, I posted it up earlier. But uh, the good guys over at Antec actually. Have given mm-hmm. us a Mercury 120 cooler to give away as well, and all, we in, all in one water cooler. We'll sure. be giving that away next week. Is it on your side? Or my side? What's on your side? Uh, it's here. So next week, isn't it? Yeah. The giveaway for that one. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So Mercury 120 from Antec. As always, Antec have been absolutely fantastic vendor for us. It's cheap. Um, yeah. No. It's not moving. And. I've done the Mercury 240. The that well, the cooler was absolutely awesome. Um, so the 120 should be exactly the same. So anyone looking for an all-in-one, join into the competition. I know one person right now that should enter. Enter in, Eleanor. <laughs> enter in, <laughs> <and>, Eleanor. <laughs> and yeah, so do join in, and hopefully one of you guys will win. I think the good thing about this guy is um, it, it's very versatile. It can be used on either a CPU or a GPU. Yeah, it does. Yeah. If you grab the NZXT G10 or G12 bracket, so. That can be good. Smokey, hello. Smokey, what's going on, mate? And how's everyone's week been? Because I've been, I've been looking at the chat. So, any new tech that anyone's bought? Um, any YouTubes anyone's been having? Anyone bought let any, us in the chat. Any five thousand dollar graphics cards? Yeah, as I'm saying, anyone bought any, <laughs> anyone, anyone bought any graphics cards? I've seen a massive like flood in the market of, like, especially on Facebook, where um, crypto miners are selling a whole bunch of like other ten sixties or ten seventies trying to upgrade to you know to the next ten ATIs. So um, if you bought one of those cards, is it, you know done well for you? Let us know. If not, because actually, did we notice that most of those guys that sell the cards will not split them up? They want something that's complete. Yeah, that's their sums of bulk, yeah. Because yeah. all, all they look at is this. Yeah. That's that is literally all they look at. Yeah. And with inflated prices now, I don't know who who would be stupid enough to play that. But, you know. Funky got a new chair. What'd you get? Boom. That's what we want to hear. That was battable. That's um, what we want to hear. Yeah, Eleanor's entered the giveaway. Good. Uh, so Freddie got an Asus C302CA Chromebook from PLE. Awesome. I was interested in being what getting a Chromebook. A what are you going to use it for, Freds? It's brilliant. Baked Beans got a whole new build, an i7-7700 with 1070 Ti. Wow. Wow, 16 gig, nice. three grand, that's an awesome Is build. That why you were Have streaming? you got any photos of that? Let us know. We want to see what some photos of it. you got to watch Baked Beans on, uh, stream Rainbow Six. Yeah? He's, he's a gun. Yeah? He's a gun. Well, yeah. Definitely yeah. have to watch yeah. it then. Yeah. Uh, Hidden Envy spent six eighty this week. Holy shit, man! Uh, going to the six eighty spent this week. I can tell you what he bought because he hasn't put it in there. He bought a MSI 
GTX 1060 Gaming X mm -hmm. and a CPU cooler. So what Matt does, Matt goes into every single person's profile that's in PC 4 and stalk. and he stalks every single person on here. So every time, every, anyone that's on here, you're going to get stalked. No, I'm I joking. Stalk. Nah, Matt and I, we're actually really um, close. We're good close communities. So anyone on Discord and also on the PC 4 and community, we all do chat. So that's everyone. That's why the reason why we know everyone, what everyone does here so, and what everyone gets, which is good. All we want to do is hear what everyone gets and, you know, any issue concerns. If you've got any questions, even on a Discord channel. So we're going to... Have we, have, we, have we opened it up yet? Was that something we just discuss, discussed about? What's that? Having that, um, the chat box regarding to, one, admins, let me know in the chat um, where someone's got an issue or concern with their PC that we can, they can write a question. Yes, so on the Discord, which I will post a link right now, actually I'll get uh, one of the admins to do it if they can. Uh, Is it in there? Yes, we have a tech support channel now That's on, the one on our Discord. Yeah. And any questions, concerns or queries, if you're having any issues, post them up. All of us would be glad to help. There it is there, sorry. Trying to be a with big my, community. With my so. own Discord and I actually forgot it was even there. I know we discussed about it, but yeah, it's sorry. Because you look at Discord like twice a week. I, I do not know what, I actually look at Discord every single day. I just don't look at, I just don't look at the site. No, no, <laughs> you, just, you just look at what people are saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hidden, <laughs> hidden one. Uh, Lazy Gamer says, Discord link below expired, guys. There you go, Mephisto Hate. Can you fix that, buddy? Cheers, thank you. There you go. Legend. Is that on the, um, is it, is it expired on Twitch? We should fix that up. On Twitch. Uh, Twitch. Oh, yes. Best is it, that's that's probably the reason why he's saying it's expired. Okay, um, Jimmy. Shadowfire VII. I made oh, a Twitter so that I still have a chance to win if you can't get the Twitter waived. Well, even if. Um, they've just got back to me. Twitter's fine. If you haven't got Twitter, you're, you can still win the prize. Oh, there you go. There you go, guys. Athena, there you go. So you don't actually have to have Twitter to be a valid entry. You can do everything else. So there you go. We've got 4,573 entries. Good luck, everyone. We've got 56, 56 minutes, left. minutes left. So good luck. Let's do it. Posted a photo on Discord. Let's have a look at that photo. All right. So, guys, I'm trying to find where you can get the flamethrower, but... I... Oh, they're, they're only 500 bucks. Only? Yeah. That's pretty good for time travel. Yeah, but what's the what, what fuel is it using? I don't know. <laughs> they will come packaged with a free, boring company fire extinguisher because that's the company. <laughs> 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 they will also come with individual serial numbers, so they're like a special edition thing. Oh, there you go. That All is right, amazing. That so is amazing. I'm getting crushed here. They look good quality too. It's a gas canister that sits on top. Mm. and some sort of mechanism that looks like a spark plug on the front. <laughs> 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 Absolutely amazing. All right. Okay, so let's go to the next topic. Let's head over and check out the next topic. For so I've got some, uh, obviously, some great news, as always. Um, not really, to be honest. So if you're looking at buying anything in the near future, well, you might want to hold off because it's, it's about to get more fucking expensive again. Do we hold off, though? Well, what, what, do, you want, do you want to buy now before it, before it even goes yeah, to the yeah. So if you're looking at um, looking at the next topic, which I'm not really happy with to be honest, but we should go let you guys let you guys know what's going on. So in particular, if you were looking at maybe doing a build, you might want to you know start buying it now. So the Silicon Wafer make a plan to a 20% price increase for 2018. So what that actually means is Silicon is actually in every single product in a PC, in PC hardware. It goes in from motherboards to RAM, PC, CPUs. PCB, it? Yeah, it's pretty much everything, yeah. yeah. Um, CPUs, RAM, motherboards. Um, NAND flash. NAND flash. VRAM. Monitors. It's in everything, really. So particularly, if you are looking at purchasing anything, and now they're saying it's going to be an increase of 20%. I'm, I'm really disagreeing with this completely because I don't understand how a fluctuation of this high, bar from... They're going to blame crypto mining, obviously, once again. But regardless of it, no matter if crypto miners buy video cards or PC games are buying cards or buying motherboards or CPUs, the demand is always going to be there, no matter what. As long as Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, and all the other um, product makers out there are creating new products, the demand is always going to be there. I think this has just been used as a ploy to increase prices for six to seven months just to boost up their other their banks inventory and so forth um just for a quick buck to blame crypto mining that's my personal opinion on it mm -hmm. uh so i'm totally disagreeing with this what do you I think? think 
I think what's happening is because Nvidia have been smashed for sales, mm-hmm. AMD have been smashed for sales because of mining and stuff like that. Power suppliers have have had unprecedented demand because we all need high powered power supplies to power the five, six, seven cards we're running. Mm-hmm. I think silicon is the only component that's left out. So people are uh, so the obviously who is it? Global wafers have said, "Wow, look at all of this." It, price fluctuation and increase that you know and we're not making any money on it and, we're not and making we're any the suckers, extra money we're yeah. the suckers here that are still giving people the right price for the product no let's increase it by 20 percent. yeah yeah that's pretty much what it is i reckon which is bullshit to be honest it's literal bullshit it's I, disgusting like in a day look it's never going to get look so what i'm going to say now is it's going to have an increase of 20 percent and then stay there they'll never go down they're never going to bring prices down ever again you know, look, they're going to say, oh, well, sorry, we're going to leave at 20%, but then six months down the track, mm. oh, let's give you a 20% mm. discount. We're going to give you back what you used to have. It's like price of fuel, same thing. You would never ever see the price of fuel a dollar a litre again. Well, it looks like, like I said, it looks like they're following the trends. So because everything else went up, uh, Smokey, Smokey Gaming, thank you very much for the cheese. Thanks, mate, thank you. Because everything else went up, they're following the trends. So I think mm. that maybe if graphics cards come down, they'll follow the trend down again. Because then people start bitching about how expensive silicon is. Yeah, but once you start paying for it at a certain price, you're never going to say you're never not, you're never going to know any any different particular. What what mining's done is it's basically taken all the competitiveness out of everything. There's no more matching prices or or value for for performance and stuff like that. That's all gone out the window. Now it's whatever you can get at the cheapest, mm-hmm. and if you can't get it at the cheapest, you have to buy it the most expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Look. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. You're right there. I've got to agree with that. Mm. But I still don't think that we should be able to. I know these guys are like the start of the building block of what's in your PC at the moment. But then again, they make millions of these every day. Yeah, you know. So the demand, I still don't see the demand is creating all this fiasco regarding to different prices or should bring a price hike because the demand's always gonna be no matter what. Yep. If the crypto miners gonna buy all these graphics cards, motherboard CPUs, someone else is gonna buy them. That's right, that's right. You know? So, yeah, I don't know. What do you think, guys, in the chat? Let us know. Do you agree? It's disagree? Silly. It's silly. It's silly. But um, it's, yeah, 20%. And 20% is nothing nothing short of shitloads. Well, yeah, exactly right. It? Like I said, it's, it's not a, it's, it's not a it's five just 20, or... It's 20 cents to the dollar. That's so right. You... It's not five or 10%. It's 20%. Kane, Kane Aussie, Aussie, thank you very much for the follow. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Welcome. So they're a Japanese wafer manufacturer. Uh... The shortages are coming first from 300 millimeter wafers, the most common wafers that are used in manufacturing modern CPUs, GPUs, and RAM chips. Mm-hmm. This demand is driven by growing demand for DRAM, NAND, and both uh, consumer P- uh, CPUs in the server, desktop, and mobile markets. Mm-hmm. So everything's copying it. Yep. As well as increased demand in other markets like cryptocurrency, mining, ASICs. Well, there you go. They, even that means that you're going you're gonna to have laptops have a 20% increase of some sort, or so have an increase of some sort. Because of this, guys, it's 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 stuffed. No, oh, what do you do? What can I say? Josh said, when I started Melissa's business slash semi gaming build yesterday, I was mostly looking for price and then disregarding a couple of brands I hate. That's fair enough, but should that it, does that tell you now that you should jump on that now before all this stuff goes up? I hope you purchased it yesterday, man, because we don't know what's happening. It's um it's all over the joint to be honest. Outback Kanga says video freezing every now and then. How's it for everyone else? Let us know. Guys, are you freezing up or is the audio not in sync or anything like that? Let us know. It's it's the silicon wafer they, they must feel left out. That's all it is. Still disagree. Silly. It's happening for you as well. Stream freezing, but sound okay. More Dell says lots of freezing. Why well, isn't everyone Can we, how many, what's the bit rate at? It's 20, 25. 25. If it's at 25, it should be an issue. Mm. Is it working? Is it working fine here? Yeah, it's working fine here. Oh, this is local though. It always performs. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Josh A said, didn't win yesterday, waiting to win tonight's PLE voucher. <laughs> That's fair enough, mate. That's fair enough. 
As far as I know, no problems on my end, so shadow fire, thanks buddy. It seems to be just for some people. Maybe try refreshing your browsers, maybe? Yeah, try refreshing, or it could be, particularly just um, the net, really, because I've noticed a lot, particularly anyone who's got MBN or very, very fast internet, has no issues seeing the stream. It's the lower end, so I really can't adjust more than I've, I've got currently at the moment. Um, yeah, we're running at 720.60, so yeah. But Yeah, it shouldn't, um, it shouldn't. No, I shouldn't, but I really can't do much more where it is now, mm, so... Interesting. We'll, we'll see how it goes, guys. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. And nothing is downloading, so I can see that. Show us there's no issues here. I'm at ADSL. Okay, there you go. Must be Ready is um, Western Australia ADSL 2. Booster has 100, 140, and it's freezing a lot. That's interesting, man. Are you talking shit? <laughs> <laughs> be honest. <laughs> be honest. So the next topic that we've got, guys, sort of s reflects even more on what we were just talking about, actually. It is the news at the moment, to be honest. And it's, in, uh, it's in the news. It is. It, it is actually <laughs> the news. Uh, Bitcoin plunged below 7,200 today as banks ban cryptocurrency payments on credit cards. Today, the crypto market had a, a massive fall, um, which affected the Aussie market the US market, basically worldwide. Um, it's actually, it's, it's breaking people to be honest. I'm a member myself of a, of a lot of mining groups, uh, a lot of trade groups. Um, I avidly follow uh, Bitcoin. Uh, I watch the charts every morning and stuff like that. It has taken a massive, massive dump, massive dump. And I believe right now, I'll tell you guys what it is right now, right at this moment. So did it plunge below seventy two hundred at the moment, or was it? That was that was written. Uh, I can't tell you when it was written, but it was written this morning. So Bitcoin price is currently at six thousand three hundred seventeen US dollars, or eight three three four seventy nine. So it's actually risen a bit. It's, it's risen about two percent. Has it? Yep. Is that yep. Australian dollars talking about? Was it? Yeah. Is that Australian dollars on this on this website? Or US? That, uh, that's US. Well, that's, that's even that's, lower. That's US. So it's even lower. It fell even lower. There. So. Bitcoin plunged at seventy two hundred at that time. Now it's sitting at six thousand three hundred seventeen dollars. So can we, can we scroll down in that article for just a second? So you guys can see a graph down the bottom there. Um, so that was today, and starting from uh, eighteen zero zero this morning, yep. um, it was at eight thousand five hundred in in a matter of twelve hours. Twelve hours, we've fallen down to seven two fifty. So some and people are gone, saying and it's gone even down further. So that's it's right, gone six thousand three hundred seventeen dollars. Right. That's right. Is this a, is are we seeing a, um, a bit of a jolt where it's gonna everyone's gonna plunge on it now, buy a lot of it, and it's, wait it's for the, the wait for the hype. People to come up? people are so funny when it comes to this. There, are, I've got so many friends that are invested in this so much. Like I've got mm. people who have left their job for day trading. Yep. So people who want to make a quick buck, they cash in, watch the fork hit, rise, pluck it out again. Um, some people panicking, don't know what to do. They've mm. sold off all of their mining rigs. That's why you've probably seen all, all these graphics cards for sale. Yep. Um, people are whinging because you know they've lost so so many big investments. But you got to remember that even though it's still at seven thousand two fifty. Um, around whatever time it was, Bitcoin this time a couple of years ago was was only three hundred bucks. Yeah. So it's it, it's still a rise, but um, that's because the reason why this happened today, guys, is because the U.S. banks and the U.K. banks, um, just to name a couple, uh, uh Bank of America, U.K., J.P. Morgan, Citigroup, uh, in the United States, they they have all basically said no. They've said no because people are walking in, getting these big loans, uh these big personal loans and yeah. plucking the money and putting it straight on crypto. They've said no. So that's that's changed everything and China has banned crypto. Yeah. Banned crypto. They've, they're putting these new laws in place. I don't know how long it'll last. But that's making the market go. Well, everything from China is going to Russia at the moment. Russia's making these massive warehouses and literally it's going, yep, all, the, all from yep. China, straight to Russia. Yep, yep. Absolutely crazy. All right, guys, let us know on the chat how the stream is going, if it's still freezing. I'm going to try and adjust the bit rate, but I don't think it's going to help any further. We'll keep working on it throughout the night, guys. But um, how many of you guys are invested in crypto at the moment? Have you guys got any, any shares or any so money? I've got 2,500 at the moment. Which should, which should increase I know that Josh A has. Uh, Saint Center X says Bitcoin may have taken a dip, but just wait for the Australia crypto takes off. Who knows? Who knows? I haven't actually bought any shares in that. I'm thinking about it. 
There's actually Dingo Coin, which is another one. Apparently, that's people are telling everyone to jump on that one. It's okay show. now. We'll so I'm not going to adjust it because I wasn't. I was about to adjust it even further down just to make it, make sure it's all right. Oh, there you go. We'll see. It's if it does it again, I'll adjust the uh, bit right. Booster Kane says I have a lot of crypto. Freddie says a tiny bit. How are you guys feeling right now? Are you guys feeling anxious, anxious, <laughs> and and nervous and depressed and down like the rest of the 50 million people that I've seen on Facebook today are? Or can I have something there, please? No. Please. You're drunk enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, there's plenty more of that come from. <laughs> That's funny. Also heard that China is a head advanced weaponry in America. <laughs> <laughs> who knows, mate? They might have Elon Musk on their side, who knows? There you go, flamethrowers, <laughs> there you go. Elon Musk and his flamethrowers. <laughs> But how does this affect the PC world? Well, we can see directly that because of today, um, we can see the GPUs are going for a bit cheaper now. I've seen graphics cards that are actually sort of, reasonably pro sort of. What, what cards are you looking at? Sort of. I saw today you know, three D. somebody <laughs> selling a batch of um, EVGA cards, yeah. uh, 1080 Ti's, for $1,000 each. Oh, wow, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, they had 80 of them available. Well, there you go. Yep. Anyone out there? Yep. So well, you must buy all 80. 80 for a thousand dollars each. I don't know. No, I think that was separate. Hmm. That was okay. But a thousand dollars for a 1080 That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. The SC2 edition with the two fans. Oh, there you go. Brand new inbox. Brand new inbox burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as we can see from here. How much are you putting in there? Yeah. And Enjoy. then invest what you can afford to lose. Exactly right. I That's it. You know it. what? That is exactly right. Exactly very, right. very good emphasis. This phone call. I want everybody who's having issues right now to reset their browser, refresh their browser if they can. Oh, I haven't, I haven't done the um, adjustments yet. And try again. I might drop it this little bit. We'll see, we'll see how we go. Lee's just playing around with something else again. What are you doing now? I'm going to drop the bit right to 24. Even though it shouldn't, it shouldn't be in here anyway, but we'll see. We'll have a look. Or should we go higher? When you go higher, it puts more load on, on them. But it seems like most of the people have NBA. Well, yeah, it's like out of the 47 people, it's like four people that are complaining about it, so. Interesting. Let us know, guys. I've just ref I've just um, adjusted the beat rate, so it lets me know if there's any issues or concerns. All right, we'll try again. I had issues at the start, close Firefox and reopen, no issues. There you go. So maybe that's that's what some of you guys should do. Most likely it's your issue is Firefox. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe try a different browser. Yeah. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> Three times. <laughs> Smokey again for the twenty cheers. Really appreciate it. Mate, it's on fire tonight. On fire. Fire. <laughs> you still play RuneScape? Wow. Is that game still still live or? <laughs> Seems good so far. All right, so I've dropped the bitrate a little bit lower. Hopefully, that fixes the issue, and I will get in touch with um, my new ISPs and let them know. Hopefully, we can adjust the upload speed a bit more. And the next topic. What do we got for the next topic, mate? We've got the JDEC publishes their UFS three point zero storage specifications, which is good. Um, you can grab this one. I'm about to, to do the. What are we doing? Social media again. Ah, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. No worries. So, guys, Jetic, I don't know if you guys have heard about Jetic, but they they basically produce uh, memory for solid state drives. Um, and what's happening with these guys? Let's have a look. So UFS, for those who don't know, stands for Universal Flash Storage, and they have basically created a new silicon, probably going to have a 20% increase in price, who knows? <laughs> um, yeah. They've officially released the UFS 3.0 standard, delivering both power and performance improvements over the older type storage, which you see in drivers now. So we can expect to see drives just that little bit quicker, or well, double the speed, I should say. Offering up to two times the data rate performance, support for lower power NAND, uh, and storage support for broader range of, of supported devices with lower temperatures as well. So basically a win all round, I, yeah. I would say. Um, they will start shipping later on this year. Uh, and they have a, so just to give you guys some specs, 
New temperature range between negative 40 to 105 degrees Celsius. This is working temperatures, guys. Uh, being a useful addition, uh, transfer speed is a new standard, will be around 2.9 gigabits per second. That's quick. Wow. With UFS utilizing dual 11.6 gigabits per second lanes for data transfer, creating an effective bandwidth of 23.2 gigabits per second. When are we going to see this this type of storage it put to its 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 the the pinnacle the the actual use of it? Well, they'll get smaller and larger. So smaller in size, but larger a lot larger in storage. So it's, it's going to continue on no matter what. Yeah, it just it freaks me out, you know, because we've got so many drives now. Windows isn't going to boot magically quicker because you've got a, a, a quick drive, you know. It will. Yeah, I'll do yeah, something. I, I think we've. It will literally as soon as it's in the power on <laughs> Windows. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Um, yes, GDDR6 is coming out. We spoke, we about, spoke about last, last week, week, actually. Yes, yeah, GDDR6 is, is is in production now. Yeah. On stage, Joe, with the donations. You must be drinking. Thank you very much. <laughs> Joe, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Zero buffering here. That's good. That is good. All good. That's what we want Thank to see. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know, Busa. I don't know, mate. That's interesting. That's interesting. But so this, we'll, we will see this um, UFS put into solid state drives. We'll see it put into flash oh, is, memory. Is it going to consume straight away? Is it going to go into um, uh, what do you call it? What? Like server group. Does it say? Are we seeing it first? We never see this sort of shit first. We, see, no, we, all, we all see it like three years It later. says that it's going to be ready for embedded memory storage and removable memory cards first. Smokey, thank you very much for the cheers. So there we go. That's 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 actually crazy, the, the speed difference. I'm only using not 20 lol. <laughs> Smokey, with the cheers, mate. What the hell's got thank cheers, Thank you very buddy? much. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm just doing a bit of the social media thing. I'll be ready in a minute. Stuff needs to be loaded into the RAM to make it fast. That is somewhat true. That is somewhat true. Um, depends on what you're talking about in regards to, um, because this this is actually the stuff. This UFS is actually going into USB sticks as well, um, and I'm assuming mobile devices and stuff like that. So it depends on the, what's what's going through the load. Yeah, and yeah. Like a tenny. <laughs> so guys, that will start. A, it says here that it will be released to the consumer market in Q2 2018. So there you go. We'll start seeing that very very soon. I hate this having to buy new devices all the time because she just keeps getting better about it. Especially two times the performance of what you had. Yeah, but when's it going to be released? What was it? Was it? Q2 2018. That's well, not long at all. It's not long at all. So by June, we'll be able to release it. Yep. Okay. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's bad at all. Okay. So. And I'll just wait for Lee to... I'm pop. done. I'm just, just finishing up now. You can talk about this one, mate. Well, I was with you in this one here. I particularly don't think... I don't actually read this article to be honest. I don't have a chance to be honest. We'll move on to the next one. Maybe you can shed some light. No, on. I'll go back onto it. I'll be honest. We'll go back onto it. So I didn't get, I didn't get a chance to have, have a proper read of it. See if we can shed some light on it. Just a quick uh, notification, guys. If you guys haven't entered the competition tonight to win the $50 PLE voucher, generously given to us by PLE themselves, obviously, uh, you can hop into it just by typing in the chat uh, hashtag PC419PLE if you guys have not already. Guys, the ones that have, thank you very much. Your vote does not count if you do it again. So you can... It's only one time. You can leave it for now. We can see everyone who's entered, and it doesn't come up twice if you enter twice. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate that. Um, so going to our next topic, Windows 10 has finally surpassed Windows 7's market share. Thank fucking God. Mm, it's been a while you. now. Thank you. So um, Windows 7 remains widely used with a 41.86 market share. That's a still big market share. 41%. That's, that's a huge market yeah, share. Yeah, definitely. So this means I haven't re I haven't read the article properly, but does this mean that finally people are using Windows 10 more than Windows 7? Uh, yes, it does. But Holy you, moly! You know what? It actually, still says on here that Windows 8 is still being used. Three eight point seven point sorry eight point seven eight point seven two percent are still using. They're still using 8. Windows 8. What the hell? Who the fuck here is using Windows 8? Seriously. <laughs> Just jump aboard. It's just that one little extra. You know, I guarantee what it's going you know, to be. I feel I sorry point. for him. No, do you know what it is? What? I guarantee it's tablets. Tablets? Oh, yeah. Be. Probably Surface, like their yeah, first edition Surface. Yeah. And they came out with RT. RT version, yeah. Yeah. So. It has to be tablets. What else is it going to be? Yeah. 
still wondering why they skipped eight and nine. Well, they didn't skip eight, buddy, but they skipped nine because they had too much resemblance with uh, Windows ninety five and ninety eight. Actually, do you know what? There is a nine. Is there? Barnacles actually took a, brought a video out. If you look onto his um onto his YouTube channel, there was a nine released, and it was a mix between seven and eight, in particular. Is it legit? Is legit. Um. And for some reason, I, I, don't, I didn't. I can't remember. It's been a long ago since, since I actually watched it. Um, they actually went straight to ten. For some, I don't. I can't remember what the hell it was. But a nine did actually get not consumer released, but it was re, it was a released OS. That's interesting. <clears throat> yeah. That's interesting. While he was working at Microsoft, he was still still there. But yeah, that's why they didn't bring out a Windows nine for anyone who's wondering because it came out. Yeah, they couldn't name it that because of 95 and 98, so... Yeah. Um, apparently, the PLA competition has entered, uh, mm. ended. Has it? Apparently. We can extend it for a bit longer. Thanks to Show Us for pointing that out. Cheers. No, sorry. I'm not doing it. <laughs> You're not doing it? I've still got 32 minutes left on the yeah, iPad Pro, fine. guys. Yep. Um, and I'll get Lee to fix up uh, the... I know why. The, 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 it's your fault. Why? I'm fine. It. It's got nothing to do with here. Yeah, it does. Hmm? The PLE voucher, the fifty dollar voucher. Oh, oh the PLE voucher. That's that, that, that's ended apparently. So guys, so whoever okay. hasn't entered it can enter it as soon as Lee extends the timer, which will be. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so entries. Start again. I want to get loud. We'll cool. do it a, another eight minutes. When there's ninety five, did rock. Don't you miss that sound? I saw actually. I saw a comment. Where is it? Morthal said, "Still don't plan on giving out Windows Seven yet. If it ain't broke, don't fix it." That's broken. No, right? don't think it's like broke, that. It's <laughs> broke and old. Get you over move, it. You move to Windows 10 for the new tech, buddy. You, that's, that's regardless of whether it's broken or not. Uh, actually, uh, didn't, they, didn't they finish support for Windows 7? Yeah, they did, yeah. So there's no security support. Yeah, so well, yeah. there you go. It's broken. Fix it. Yeah, <laughs> it's broke, mate. It's broken. Fix no it. No security. But you move to it for the new tech. Gone, gone. What happens if you want to buy a game and it needs DirectX 12? You can't play it. There'll, be no, there'll be no updates, nothing. 7 doesn't have it. You need, you need to move, man. Need to move. So there's a buffering again. My work, whoa, jeez. My work runs half million dollar machines on Windows 95 still. And they updated to Windows 10 the last, there you go, last two weeks and they broke it all. Oh, of course there's going to be teething issues, especially when you're dealing with that many machines. Yeah. I, I would uh, assume, but... Um, Windows 7 gets zero FPS in DX12. So exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot to grab this. Even, even looking and the game is broken, says Mortdell. Mustn't be your Windows, it must be the game. It must be the game. Have you tried restarting the machine? Don't buy a game from EB then, because when you go to EB Games, I say, are you sure that your computer can run this? Are you sure? Are you, no, sure? Are you sure? Don't tell me your specs, because I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> are you sure can run? Are you sure? 100%. Do you have awesome. minimum? Are you the minimum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, it's Sea of Thieves needs Windows 10. Correct. Well, there you go. You can't, play, you, I won't can't, be seeing, you can't play half the games. I won't be seeing you on Windows uh, on uh, CFDs anytime soon. All right, so that's done there. Let me show you now. All right. So yeah, I do think it's our net. I'm pretty sure it's our net. Is it dropping? Mm, yep. Badly or? Yep. Well, Hidden Envy said I refreshed and came back to frozen screen. Uh, Lazy Gamer says, okay, no buffering, but the videos freeze like on your end. Hidden Envy, are you still running Windows? <laughs> yeah, didn't Still running Windows 8? I think my net is still running Windows 7, so it might be Windows 95, to be honest, but we'll see. That's interesting, guys. We'll have to check that out. That's something that we didn't check out yesterday. What's that? You're dropping frames, I can, I can see. 7,200. Mm. <coughs> that would be why it's happening. Drop frames. Well, it shouldn't be at all. That's interesting. Uh, 21 Crow says, still waiting for Monster Hunter World on PC. So am I, mate. Hopefully it's out by June, July. Hopefully. Uh, Big Ben says, question. I'm not sure if I should ask here, but how does one get partnered with PC 419? One second. I was fixing something up. <laughs> the answer is, give me one second. <laughs> I was just doubling it up and everything, so. Uh, say again. Uh, I'm not sure if I should ask here, but how does PC 419, how does one get Partnered with PC four one nine. Send me a private message. Also, private message. Private PM. Private PM only. PM. Oh, who's that? Who's that from? PM. Baked Wh beans. Baked beans. Baked beans. We are using XSplit, mate. And Absolutely. maybe for the last time, we'll see. I hate 
XSplit. You do have XSplit, but, but it's the only one with our settings that works. If I can export all my shit from XSplit to OBS, I might change it. We'll play around with it and see. Dragon Ball Fighter Z best game. I bought that yesterday, mate. It is absolutely amazing. Amazing. So finally, Windows 10 has surpassed Windows 7. Thank God. Congratulations to most of you who took advantage of the free upgrade, but now it is too late and you have to buy Windows 7 for the small price of 169 I'm pretty sure it is, off Microsoft's website. That's for the home version, and for the pro version, I believe it's 2... Trans, thank you for the follow. Thanks, buddy. It's 245 or 265 Maybe, that's, maybe that could be it. Yeah, maybe. Try taking it off. Um, do you know if Windows 10 Pro is 245 or 265 it may be even more. Oop. It may be 285, 295. It's, it's somewhere in the high oh, 200s anyway. Nice to restart. No, can't do it. Smokey, full of the bloody cheers tonight. Thanks, mate. Thank we really appreciate it. Cheers, Thank mate. you so much. That's 60 so far, I'm pretty sure. Let us know how it goes, guys. If it's still cutting in and out, let us know. I'm trying to... Lee's not very good at multitasking, Pete, as, you, on the as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> he only focuses on one thing and one thing only. Yeah, right. That's good, because hopefully, fingers crossed, he fixes it. Hopefully. <laughs> I can't do any much more while we're live, so that's pretty much as far as we're going to get. Did I say buy Windows 7? I meant Windows 10 for 169. Windows 10 Home is 169. I know that for a fact. So what we're talking about? Windows 10, yeah. We were talking about what you did last summer. Yeah, you don't want to know. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, the price of Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro. I don't know if you know what they are. Right now? Yeah. Because I believe they just put their prices up too. So they basically said, Hi guys, we've given you 12 months to do the upgrade for yeah, free. Don't you realise the silicon chip in the USB stick they give you oh, has gone up across. 20%. 20%. <laughs> the, silicon, the silicon that's gone into thinking about Windows 10. The silicon in the box that they've created for you to buy as the retail box has gone up by 20%. Crazy. The plastic around. Crazy. So you got the box. So you got the, you got the box. Oh, do you know what it is? It's the, it must be like the scratchy, the, um, what do you call it? The CD oh, key. Oh, to reveal the key. Yeah, of to course, reveal the key. Of course. That extra layer. <laughs> the, yeah, the silicon in that, that key. That extra layer makes it, is, makes it. It's done. 100%. 100%. 100%. There you go. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah, so guys, we'll, we'll leave that there. But I'm going to say congratulations to everybody who actually moved to 10. More tell. Um, no, not you. And <laughs> everyone who didn't. Too bad you missed out. <laughs> well, you know, Windows 10. It's been around for a while. And it's going to be here for a very long time. Deal Should give it. away a Windows 7 key next week. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> give me Windows 95 key. We'll probably still buy them somewhere. We've still got, at my work, we've still got a, I'm pretty sure we've still got a sealed copy. That's disgusting. Of Windows 95 on our shelf. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure. The big box? The big box. Oh, that's awesome. The floppy edition that came you with know, the I've actually got, copies. I've got to find them. I am, um, for some reason about, I don't know, maybe nine years ago, I had this thing of collecting all of the old Star Wars PC box games like X-Wing X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter look down the have you still got them? yeah I think I've still got them I might be in the shit in the box because I, I packed them away um, yeah I, had, I literally started collecting I, most, I bought most of them from London from England for eBay it was all oh, eBay from England? yeah for eBay okay. only one person on eBay had them and yeah I ended up spending about, about two or three hundred dollars on six wow. games yeah wow. but it was good wow I have every Windows ever made. There you go, Outback. Illegally or legally? Uh, you'll, be legally. <laughs> you'll be legally. <clears throat> that is the question. That is the question. The best, the best, the best. Where am I looking? So I was going off topic here for a second, guys. I just had a quick, a quick thought. What was that first person, first person shooter, Star Wars shooter? Oh, um, what was that Dark Forces. Called? Dark Forces, yeah. That was, that was the best. <coughs> Actually, no. Was it Dark Forces? Dark Forces. That was <coughs> the best Star Wars game ever. Anyway, yeah. continuing on. Oh, there it is. Here, he even has a copy of Windows 3.1. I remember that. 3.1 was amazing back in the day. It was amazing. Wasn't it? Absolutely. Smoking, thank you once again Smoking. for the cheers. <laughs> We're full of it tonight, buddy. Are you, I think he's hoping that um, on stage Joe will, will come along. And start give me, pumping give, them out. Give, me, give him a crack for his money. We'll see. All right, so 2018, um, as we see here in the next article. So the monitors and displays for CES 2018. Who here in, is thinking about, in 2018, upgrading their video card or upgrading their monitor? 
what is a preference in particular? Would you prefer a larger monitor with, with the standard video card you currently got now? Or would you go double up, say, oh, I'm buying a new video card and buying a new monitor? Probably a bit expensive now to do it, if you want to do it at this stage, of life, obviously at, at the start of the year, um, particularly with the prices of graphics cards at the moment. Do you think that monitors may lower in price to, inc to allow people to buy a video card comparable to a, for example, a high monitor, or do you reckon monitors say, you know what, they're staying the same price? I don't care. I don't know, but I just had a good idea. I'm sorry. Here's a thought instead of manufacturers <coughs> inflating price because of mining, they should bundle the graphics <coughs> card at the right price with the monitor. That'd be good. So, yeah, if, stage Jesus joke. Christ, Dan. 500. Hello. Thank you very much. G'day. Um, that's a good idea, though, isn't it? It is a good. So, idea. you get the graphics but card. Were they, the right but when they're bundling of CPUs and motherboards? Yeah, I don't know if they are now though. It stopped pretty quickly, didn't yeah, it? Stopped, it, did. it stopped. Because of mining, it was probably, yeah. probably sh and motherboards and CPUs are what pe people need to mine. Anyway. Pretty much, yeah. So that was, but, that, um, that's a fail. But that'd be good with monitors. It would be good. Hmm, hmm. But then it'd be like, well, I bought this monitor. I bought this monitor. You know, it's twenty-seven inch by blah, thirty-two inch, and I've got a ten seventy. And now, you know, you bought me this. Bu I bought this bundle. I've only got a four hundred fifty watt power supply or a four hundred watt power supply. They're gonna. It'll be some sort of bullshit that's gonna come out, and. That's probably the reason why we'll never bundle that sort of thing together. Yeah. yeah you know, it's, yeah. it's always something. Exactly. Always something. Guys, I've put the link in the chat if you guys want to have a look at it. Basically, this article we found appealing because it has every single monitor that uh, got shown off at CES in Las Vegas this year. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got a, a price um, and a bit of specs on what we know so far that's in the monitors. So who here, so in particular, is going to be looking at a new monitor, what size and what sort of spec do you currently have? And we'll, we'll go through your spec to, to decide you're going to be buying. Um, just hopefully it should be able to match if not we'll um, obviously give you some advice on that as well so uh, I can thank see you for the cheese thanks mate <laughs> I can see super skittles has said I want that 49 inch curved monitor by Samsung oh I had the absolute pleasure of using that at PAX this year um, or last year I should say and yeah, I've, got, I've, got a whole, I've actually got a hold of Samsung and I'm hoping hoping to get it at the um, studio very soon it's currently been doing the rounds um, so hopefully very soon we'll be seeing that, which will be good. Hopefully we won't get it with And it was actually any, absolutely pickles. awesome. PUBG, you saw it. Even just jumping out of the plane, the the view, the field of view you get. It was weird, wasn't you it? You can see the whole. Island. Yeah, it was weird because you usually have to rotate the camera. Yeah, yeah. To see who's dropping with you. You didn't you have to see everybody. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Anyone's in front weird. of you on a forty-nine inch scale, you you could see it. There you go, G Vincent. I use it at RTX too big. It is too big, especially when you're sitting in front of it. This far away. Yeah, if it's like this side, yeah, I'd say for yeah. But if it's on the end of the Sausage. desk, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. But then again, my PG three four eight Q, I find it too big sometimes in front of me. Like, I sit really close to it. I'm like, yeah, it's a bit too much. Well, yeah, I've got the uh, cupcake says I want Matt's Pred monitor. I've got a Predator monitor, thirty four inch. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. You've got the Asus thirty four inch. You yep. absolutely love it. I think that's that's the perfect sort size. of sweet spot. Yeah. 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 On some games, I find it that the field of view is probably a bit too much. If I've got to sort of like move my head left to right, I sort of lose concentration. Yeah, of course. And you get a bit of, um, I get a bit of motion sickness as well, so that sort of affects me. Sometimes I actually just cut the, cut the game right and up and just put it window mode. Place um, 800 by 600. Yeah, pretty, it's a really small CSGO style. Um, so sometimes like that, but then like example, if I'm playing World of Warcraft, it's not a problem at all, even yeah. though I'm third person, second person. So like, it's all dependent on the game that you On play. the game that I'm playing, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. So if it's fast paced, like say example, like PUBG, I'm sort of gonna be put into window mode, but if it's MMA style, or like say example, like Starcraft on it, not a problem. Yeah, of course. Age of Empires is gonna be awesome. Age of Empires yeah. on, on 3440 Smoky, thank you very awesome. much. Smoky, take it easy, mate. Come take on, guys. Bit Wars. Bit Wars. This is awesome. Bit Wars. <laughs> Join in. Anyone? Uh, Dini says, where is he? No upgrades for me, but a trade coming. Hey, Matt. Maybe, buddy. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You're trading up we'll or see. trading down? <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually don't know. <laughs> Equal trading, I guess. <laughs> what you call that? I'll tell you about it later. Okay. All right. We will see, buddy. We will see. Uh, I'm on a 55 inch TV at 60 hertz. I thought you got a new monitor. Oh Slick god, flight. Slick! I thought you were upgrading. Sorry, you, I thought you were downgrading to something smaller. I thought you bought one. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how, you, how the hell you sit in front. Of I would. I couldn't do it. 55 inch monitor, maybe, but mm. 55 inch TV with the pixels of this far but apart. Do you know no. what? Because he plays the sort of games he plays, plays all the FPS games. If it's your first person, it would actually suit. It wouldn't be as bad. Yeah, I reckon. I don't think it would be as bad. 
Third person, maybe, because yeah. as a first person yeah. shooter, yeah. I don't think. But then again, like, it's a very fast paced game. I, uh, I just did fifteen hundred. Where did it? Did you? Who did fifteen hundred? On stage. Oh, well, Smokey. Did it come through? I can't. So all I can see is Smokey's buddy. Well, when it comes through, thank you very much. On stage. Absolute legends. Thank you, guys. Thank you. There you go. There we go. There it is. Five hundred. Five hundred. <laughs> you got me excited then. <laughs> um, I think Matt. Matt, I think with 27-inch, 1440p, 144hz, 1 millisecond response, G-Sync monitor, would be good for Rainbow Six Siege, seeing as how it is fast-paced, and that's my main game now. Any first-person shooter, I recommend, I don't know if you agree. At least 144hz or 120hz, yeah. 100, anything, 120 above, anything, hertz. anything above 100, to be honest with you, yeah, because yeah. We're, okay, our screens are going on 100, and I have no issues whatsoever. I'm surprised that they're even making 60hz monitors anymore. But then again, I played, an, I played 1080p and 60hz when, when, when I had CS... But but you, you can shot. tell the difference, and now you can tell. Yeah. Obviously, for those who, who haven't seen over sixty hertz, your mind's gonna be blown. Is, is all I can say. If it's G Sync or Free Sync compatible, so if you got AMD Free Sync, yeah. if it's yeah. if you got an Nvidia G Sync, that makes the massive difference. Moving to over a hundred hertz and then going back at looking at sixty hertz, it's, yeah, yeah, I can't do it. Things just move so slow, don't they? Yeah, it does. It does. Smoky, I'm just gonna put. Do you just want to put like a we should make them a special banner. Yeah, for, we should. For, 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 <laughs> just hit the button and spam it. Thanks, appreciate it, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, guys. So it looks like graphics looks good, but it's it has an 11 millisecond delay. So would you see? Do you see a lot of screen tearing in between that time? Let us know. Booster Kane says View Sonic 32 inch QHD free sync curved 144 hertz four milliseconds LED gaming monitor. We are waiting for them to ship. Is is that what you're looking at getting? Or what price was that? That sounds like a nice monitor. See, and then there's the whole four milliseconds versus one millisecond thing. Yeah, your yeah. eye, just, just just to clarify, guys, your eyes cannot tell the difference between one and four milliseconds. No. One, they say one to five milliseconds, I'm pretty sure, is the same to, to, to what we see. On stage, Joe, thank you very much. 2,000, <laughs> for God's sakes, mate. Take it easy. All right, so we've got, um, obviously, a few of the, few of the monitors here from CES. I'm going to try and skip, you know, the more business-style ones and go straight to the sort of ones we'll be looking at going ones. into. Um, they're all high-end, I'll be honest, but... Just say L you... LG does have their own 34-inch 21x9. Um, it is 60 hertz, though. That's Just a 5K you know. monitor. Uh, Freddy Krug says, side note, no more buffering or freezing. Thank you very much. Appreciate Beautiful. it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for monitoring that for us. So MSI have released a new monitor. I've actually seen this, and it actually looks pretty good. It also, too... It does have, can I get a close up on this? Let me see. Well, there's a 1080p and a 144 version. Oh no. No, I don't. Oh, God. Sorry, I just lost it all. What did you do? Oh no, I pressed something. That's a good monitor, Busa. Oh my God, I lost it. I said no to something and I said Bleh. One second guys, I'll go back to that. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You're just going to open it back up again? Oh, I'm not going to open it, I'm just going to sit in front of it now, sorry. So, going back to it. Alright, so... Going back to this, MSI have released the MSI Optics MPG 27CQ and the MPG 27C. Now, uh, both VA panels, what do you think of that? Um, obviously, one, they're both 27 inch, one it says, both 21 it says VA nines. unknown, so we unknown, don't know yeah. just yet. Yeah. Um, so the curve ratio the radius is 1800R, which is pretty, it's actually pretty curvy. Um, max resolution on the MPG 27C is uh, 1920 by 1080 at 144Hz. And then the MPG 27CQ is 2560 times 144 or 1400 at 144 hertz as well now if you can see this lighting system here it is the MSI lighting but also most of these light this this light here is i think it's already sync i think would it be the msi the ms or the msi lighting, one? Lighting, the mystic lighting, lighting mystic lighting mystic now lighting, yeah. you can sync this to games as well because i've actually seen this uh, particularly example of csgo or, any, or if it's PUBG or so forth. So you can have your health bar 
You can use it as your health bar. You can use it as your oh, ammo. Really? You can use it, yeah. So it's a separate bar to the monitor. That's correct. Yes. Oh, well, it's not. It's part. It's part of the monitor, but yeah, you can That's use it. That's absolutely amazing. You can, you can actually. There's APIs on this. You can use it for health, ammo. Um, if it's MMOs, you can actually do it. For example, when the boss is entered, it will start flashing. Or That's absolutely if you're going to die, you know, it will start flashing. Also, if you're healing up, it will, it's a lot of things that you can actually be able to do with it. It's, it's a, it's a pretty good, pretty good tool to use. Um, if you're into that sort of thing, uh, obviously now with any sort of lighting, you've got any RGB lighting on your keyboards or so forth, you can have API set where, you know, if it's your health bar, if it's your ammo or whatever, so forth, example, have your keyboard do the exact same thing. But this is allowing your monitor to actually um, that is awesome. read up what you that can do. That is awesome. So that's pretty awesome. One of the things that was um, obviously big and massive we'll say for um, CES, CES 2018 was the 65 inch G-Sync monitors um, that Acer, ASUS and HP have revealed who here would be interested bar from SlickFlow which we know already here is already there <laughs> um, would be interested in buying these monitors so they're obviously looking at the couch gamers we'll call them we'll call them couch gamers, couch gamers yeah. so high end couch gamers that want to play their games at home on the couch um, with a 65 inch 16 by 9 4k 120 hertz g-sync compatible monitor that'll be my my next one though. yeah that's 100%, awesome 100% 100% if you want to do it do it right 100% what the fuck is that okay <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> the, the ads is down the bottom yeah the ads don't you love the ads um that is the brightness of a thousand nip. that's actually pretty that is pretty bright I think I, I have I have a, a feeling, and we've spoken about this before, but I have a feeling that the ASUS will be the, the most expensive, followed by the Acer, followed by the HP. Now, just so for example, they were all the same panels. What would you buy? Well, I think they are actually the same panel. In particular, I'm saying. Pretty sure. It doesn't matter. Brand doesn't phase me. Doesn't it? No. Nah. You know, brand. Who is a brand person? Who would who would spend the extra one or two hundred dollars just to yeah. say, Do you know what, I'm going to support ASUS or I'm supporting Acer or I'll for God's sake, it's going to support HP, for example, <laughs> right? So, what would you do if, in particular, would you just go for bang for buck, or we say, do you know what, they're all the same. I don't give a shit. I'm buying the cheapest one. Or are you going to be, oh, well, I have a Seuss, Everything is Seuss, or vice versa, Acer or something. I wouldn't buy it for the fact that it's 65 inch because 65 inch is way too big. But I would buy it for the fact that it's 120 hertz 4K. Mm -hmm. That's what appeals to me. And, and I'm Asus. assuming HDR. I'm assuming. Yep. That that sells me. Straight away. Ballistic is CS no, I'm a tight ass. <laughs> Show us, I would pay the two hundred dollars. Not buy an Acer. <laughs> I'll probably agree there. Really? Us. I love my Acer. If I got the money ASUS. See, I'm I'm for everyone here. I would actually go I would buy the ASUS first. I actually did buy the ASUS. Look, I had the chance to buy the Predator and buy the ASUS. And you, you bought the ASUS. I bought the ASUS. I will probably now because all of my components in my PC are ROG. Every single component. Yeah. Even my keyboard and mouse. So yes, yeah. I would. I, I would buy ROG. Just to keep that flow. So you're contradicting yourself. Yeah, I know. I, know I, am. I, know I, am. I just had a thought. I just had a thought. Or slick flow, Aldi all the way. Aldi all the way. <laughs> all the way. Medion, 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 Medion. There you go. That is amazing. Yeah, no, probably no difference in brands. If they use the same panel, if it really shits me and phases me, I will etch the HP or the Acer off and put an Apple sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> or a razor sticker that you get yeah. with the shit that they bring. Well, the amount of shit you get in your, uh, in your motherboard box, the amount of stickers you get, you can just stick it on there and yeah. Sonic for the win. Interesting. So there you go. Interesting. I've actually saw a few more monitors than this, but I don't, it hasn't actually shown all of them. Um, you got obviously you got the LG 34WK95U. So are they more the, the workstation? Poor more of a workstation. workstation this would be awesome for editing. This oh yeah, be, guaranteed. That'd be awesome for yeah. you. Look at the resolution. Look at yeah. the resolution on the on the right hand one. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. Uh, Five one twenty. Fifty one twenty by twenty one. Twenty one sixty. At sixty hertz. Wow. Okay, so yeah. that, that's made for rendering. Obviously, yeah. Video editing, rendering, yeah. that sort of stuff. Okay. I hate it because every time, even when we're editing videos here, like even though I've got a thirty four inch monitor, it still doesn't show the whole video. See, it's as bad as it sounds. Like, oh shit, I've got to move the mouse a bit to the right. It does get annoying when you're going out left, right, left, right, left, yeah, right, left, right. Of course. So yeah, I understand, and it's also it's actually really good. So that there definitely recommended. Of course. Then you get Lenovo. You know, Some Lion. people in this chat have really nice monitors. 
Which is good. It, it, it's good to say that people are spending the money on PCs, but also complementing them with, with good monitors. Well, you should, to be honest. If you're going to go spend all that money on a PC, regardless of what you've got, if it's a 1060, 1070, or 1080, yeah, that's right. or even a Titan and so right. forth, right. you should have something. Look, look, look it's, it's in front of your face every day. Yeah, that's right. What you put in your PC is only going to produce what, you, what your monitor has. If you've got a shit monitor and a really good PC, it's still going to look shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly right. So, regardless exactly of it. Right. But if you've got a mid to high range PC and you've got a really good one it's, it's going to bounce back and give at least it's, give you a bit of contrast it's a visual bottleneck if, it is yeah if you have a shitty monitor with a good PC it's a visual bottleneck yeah. but even so like with the with, with G-Sync for example right you can buy a 1060 and have G-Sync and you still run games on Ultra right? yeah of course so it's, it's still you're still getting that really good gameplay when you're going to obviously 1440p it's you're just sort of jumping the scale a bit but you know, if you're going to go 1080 or if you're going to 1070 and you've got a 40 40 bit machine, On stage definitely. Joe, Logitech monitor 2018, please. If you, I'll tell you what, if you donate us 100,000 bits, we'll make that happen. <laughs> with Logitech. Do it. <laughs> um, but Hidden Envy has a 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz, 6 milliseconds, 21.5 monitor. See, I can't do 21. I don't know why, but um, the monitor sounds pretty old, to be honest, but. 22 inches tiny. Yes, it is. My, my, my laptop is 27, so we're not, well, so I'm not 17. Convincing. Hang on, Josh has said, Melissa needs convincing, upgrading from 60 hertz to 144 hertz. We've been talking about it for the wow. last 10 minutes. Wow. Melissa, just get one, please. Put her in front of so, a 144 hertz. I should say, Josh, go and buy her one. <laughs> and then... Go. Off you go. Go. Yeah, right now. No. Go and buy her one, and then put the monitor, her monitor on top, and then show the difference between the two. All depends on how. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. But here's the interesting bit. They're bringing out 4K, 120 hertz, HDR. 144 hertz. Uh, sorry, 144 hertz, HDR, 65 inch monitors. Why? Didn't because Ampere and Volta are releasing mid year. So does that mean that they'll be able to smash it? Of course they would. Definitely. So there you go, guys. So. But well, remember, it's still G Sync, yeah? Oh yeah, of course. So it's, it's G-Sync. So in that regards, even a 1080, 1080 Ti, or even the Titan XP currently, would still... It's like these these monitors, like the Asus HP and um, uh, Acer, they're all tailored for Ampere or Volta when they drop. Yeah. Which is good. Well, maybe. Which is we should good. see. Well, listen, I'm fine with him buying me one. I'm not sure he, not sure needs, he needs one. one. He needs one. Yes. He needs one. We all, we all he understand needs that. He needs one. We all understand when he wants to buy things for you, it's literally for him, and you're going to get what he's got. It's a win-win situation, man. Booster K and buffered screen a few times. Audio is still working, though. Okay. We'll keep an eye on it, mate. We'll keep an eye on it. But, guys, I did put it in the chat. You guys can go through and find out exactly every spec of monitor that released at CES 2018 at all Las right. Vegas this year. I'm giving one more minute for the PLA giveaway. Thank you once again, PLE, for the $50 voucher. We have one more minute, and we'll be giving out the PLE giveaway. Actually, who here liked the um, intro commercial? Who watched the intro, intro commercial for PLE of um, taking the plastic off the H500P? That's pretty <laughs> awesome. I can't, wait to, I can't wait to do mine. I haven't done mine yet. Needs. Needs. Five minutes left to the iPad gets drawn. Is that, is that true? That's correct. That's correct. Five minutes left. Now. Till this sucker gets drawn. Four minutes left. It's one of these guys. We have an update. Four thousand five hundred and ninety-seven entries. Well done, guys. Well done. We should say earlier. We should say it now. To be honest. Yeah. Sorry, I'm reading. Obviously, we should say it now. In particular, the entry for the iPad giveaway. We do do it live, so your email will be shown live. Um, so if you do win, congratulations, Correct. and your your email will be shown. Correct. Uh, Nitrous, we want the link? Can somebody please put the link up to the Glen Comp? I shall do it quickly now. In one second, mate. Please, going to jump in early. Uh, so done. This is I have just found out. It's on the front. It, it's it's gold. It's on the front. It's rose gold. <laughs> yeah, but they can't see it actually. Look, I can see it in the photo on Glen, but look at the picture on the stream. It's just all white. <laughs> <coughs> Naked too. It is literally just all white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's rose gold for all of the pretty people out there. 
So the iPad giveaway coming up soon. So PLE gift voucher is now closed. I'm going to be doing the giveaway. Yes, so the you lucky, do need to be in the stream to win it. Yes, you do. So lucky winner is going to be for the PLE. Thank you, PLE, once again for the fifty dollars gift voucher. And the winner is. Da, 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 da. Let's draw a nice fifty dollars voucher. Let's do it. Mortal, right, you buddy? Congratulations. You can put that fifty bucks towards Windows Ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, PM me on Facebook after the show or during the show, whenever you like. And we'll get the code to you straight away. Block Gaming YT, refresh your browser, mate. I'm pretty sure we fixed it. I'm pretty sure. You can have a look. Congratulations, Mortel. Uh, yeah, winning a $50 vest is better than winning nothing. So exactly congratulations, right. Exactly right. If you have anything off, on the top of your head that um, you can think of that you're going to purchase, let us know. Type it in the chat. Booster Kane, yeah, there is some stream delay. Screamers, Screamers. what's going on, mate? How welcome, welcome. Welcome. Screamers, I don't know if you've tuned uh, if you've tuned in if you've tuned in previously or not, but we are giving away an iPad Pro tonight, sponsored by and B3G. It has two minutes to give away. That's two minutes left. I'll get Lee to put the link in the chat right now for the guys who haven't entered. There you go. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. So while we have two minutes, how does one win nothing? You don't enter. Exactly. Right. <laughs> two minutes left to win a twelve hundred dollar iPad, guys. Hop on it. Yes, you have to be in the stream to win the iPad. So anyone that is a valid entrant is in the chat right now. We will, we, we will redraw it, I'm pretty sure, yes? Yes, we will. If the person who, have, who has entered is not here tonight. That was one of the conditions that B3G gave us. So we'll honor that. Awesome, buddy. Awesome. All right, so we're going to a bit of a gaming topics now. All right, so uh, Hoyts. This was actually really exciting because I remember oh, how, telling how you, the uh, PC for one gaming guys, our gaming team here, um, sent them a message saying, can you please verify what I've just heard? And uh, Joshy and Matt jumped onto this very quickly and verified this. So Hoyts is turning cinemas into esports arenas around Australia. Uh, teaming up with Gfinity, Esports Australia is teaming up with the cinema chain for the project, the first dedicated esports arenas will open in the second quarter of 2018. Now, this is an absolutely awesome idea because, particularly, cinemas, any cinemas, if it's horse or whatever it is, right? The stage is actually reset. There's a massive amount of space in between the first set of chairs to the screen. So, regardless of them setting up the chair or the, the actual the actual arena from the back, they've got a massive screen behind them to showcase what they're actually of course, playing. Of course, of course. So, so this why is, this not? is going to be at every Hoyt cinema? Um, I don't know. It's a few selected so far. Okay. So I think in Victoria, there's going to be one on the eastern side, mm -hmm. which I'm pissed off about because mm -hmm. it should be on our side. Mm -hmm. But um, we will definitely find out locations if it's not in here. No, it's not. Um, we'll definitely find out locations in regarding to where they're going to be. And as you can see here, Jiffy is making a major push to bolster Australian esports in December. It announced its Elite, Elite League, League, which I'm pretty sure which, will be here yes. with these. And mm -hmm. esports competition with a prize pool of $450,000 at a Hoyt Cinema near that, you. That is <laughs> literally a that house. That is so good. That there is go. so good. And But they're only doing three games. They're doing Rocket League, Counter-Strike, Counter -Strike, Counter -Strike, and, and Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Surprise, no league. That is absolutely amazing. No League of Legends. Surprising. That is, that is, that is. That is. So there's going to be a Challenger League as well set up, but Gfinity have basically seen the potential and they've seen that in Australia there's a lot of esports going mm -hmm. on. Uh, we've got new bars opening up that are yeah, esports. Yeah. They're absolutely flooded at the moment. There's a lot of potential with esports going around Australia at the moment yep. and Gfinity have picked that up. Hoyts have taken advantage of it and they're going to get something sorted in regards to that. Scuzzbutt, so. thank you. Welcome, welcome. I think welcome, mate. Gfinity are absolute legends, and so are Hoyts. This is probably the smartest move, I think, that Hoyts could well, possibly do. Well, now particularly, like it's just... Obviously, someone's everyone's gonna be paying for a seat, even yeah, whatever cinema's gonna be. Of course. And um, well, then I like to say, well, if we've got empty cinemas, well, we must utilize them for something else. And this yep. this perfect, absolutely perfect, yep, situation to do it. So, yep. Yep. 
points. Correct. I've got a, my thumbs against you guys. You're actually really well done, and thanks to you for as well for Beautiful. being esports here in a Block major way. Block MYT says uh, in Moore Park, Sydney. Correct. They are trialing one in Sydney at the moment. Yep. Not at the moment, but they're going to build one and trial it in Sydney at the moment. Yes. And then they're going to move it to Melbourne, Perth, if it gets bigger like that. Of course it will. Yeah, um, it will definitely will, 100%. Ballistic Logan hopefully, says... Well, hopefully the PC419 team actually gets, gets involved in as well, hopefully so we'll see. you guys will eventually see them there. Exactly right. Uh, $10 tickets like a movie, says Ballistic Logan. Well, you never know. It may be, to be honest, but I doubt it very much. Yeah. They'll, um, put, a, they'll put a premium for you to watch pro esports teams, e esports teams, you know, live, so, yeah probably pay maybe twenty thirty dollars to get I reckon. This is massive. This is mm. massive. Australia is not on the map guys for esports. That they are not on the map. They're, we've we've got a lot of uh, low to mid tier comps covered. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of players that we've seen hover around that sort of tier, but nothing elite level and nothing competitive high ranking level. So yeah. this will be amazing to see. I agree. See some talent. So. I agree. Jay Vincent says, Alright guys, time to leave the stream. And on stage, Joe says, congratulations on stage, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Tight ass Tuesday prices. Hey, DJ Conjure, I didn't know what, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but um, no, 9 and 10, it's always going to be either a Saturday or a Sunday, just so they can get all the kiddies there as well. So, do you reckon they allow kids into the... They do, yeah. Yeah? Have you been to one before? We'll see. I've, no, I've never been to an esports event. There's a lot of screaming. Is there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Interesting. A lot Better of screaming. get my voice prepared and ready mm. then. PC four one nine make it there. Mm -hmm. That'd be amazing, you know. Exactly. Who would right, come Danny. and see? Who would come and see PC four one nine team if they actually did go there? Well, particular actually talking about the PC four one nine team, um, we are. I'm sort of in the in the mix of trying to work out how I can start streaming their games legally on um, on our Twitch channel. So do stay tuned to our Twitch channel. So if you do see us go live, particularly on some random nights, um, it will be the PC four one nine CSGO team playing. Strampy, what's going on, mate? Hello, hello. I think this will be a it'll be a perfect spot for PC four and nine to land. Um, Definitely. I mean, we're 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 progressing well as a team. I don't know if you guys have been following, but um, I mean, we've lost some of our matches, but we've absolutely kicked ass in some matches well, as these guys. So. Some of the some of the teams are actually playing now. Like the ones that I've lost too are very high end teams. So I'm very proud of the guys so far, and hopefully, a bit more training, a um, bit more coaching, we'll get there. But ho at the end of the day. It's always a learning process. Like I did it. Like I played uh, Counter Strike Source for a very long time, for four years pro, and it took us a good year and a half, two years to actually start. You were playing daily, weren't you? Daily, yeah. daily, daily. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's not easy. Not easy at all. But dedication and team focus is the main thing. In particular, that's on, on everything. So anything in whatever team sport you're actually playing, um, as long as you've got cohesion in the team, is the most important. The team, if the if the team is actually blending very well no matter what game you're playing you'll dominate everything so i don't know if you guys know uh, noticed but on discord uh we've got a special esports section for the team mm -hmm. uh you can see that they're avidly 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 on csgo um yeah. and they're very very strict about it they've got a set regime uh like lee said they've got um coaching coming in so there's a lot of exciting things to happen so you might see them at your local exactly courts. right who knows and also too, um, take well, the PC Four One Nine website as well is going to have its own dedicated PC Four One Nine gaming page. So, mm. it's, oh, sorry, gaming website I should say. Um, so it would be a PC Four One Gaming. I think it's going to be what we've been calling it. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really good. So all your information regarding the CSGO or anything related to PC Four One Nine Gaming is going to be on their website. And hopefully, I'll get one of the admins to actually start on that one as well. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully. Of course. Of course. All right, guys, before we do go ahead with the um, the iPad Pro giveaway, because I'm sure it's ended by now, how is the stream going? I'm going to not continue it. We'll leave this one up. Yeah, put right here. We'll chuck it right here. This is probably the last time I ever That's lay it. my hands on it, because somebody else will own it. Frozen Videos video. Frozen. Of course it is. What can we do to fix that? Nothing. Reset your browser. Gonna have to reset your browser, guys. We don't have time to think of a fix for it on the fly. We're gonna have to have a look at it after the stream's over. Yeah, after the stream's over. All right. There's 70 eager, eager beavers in here. Let's, let's so let's have a quick look. We have. I'm just gonna refresh that page quickly. Get rid of all these. So, thank you once again for from B3G. We have currently and have ended the um, B3G iPad Pro giveaway. 
with a total entries of 4,605. Thank you very much, guys, for everything also so far. Awesome. Absolutely wrapped on how, on how this has actually proceeded. That's actually a good thing to bring up just before we draw it. So, guys, B3G came to us. They're mm -hmm. a new a, a new comp a new company. Obviously, they sell goods and uh, goods and stuff uh, in IT. So, yes. if you haven't, jump onto their website, grab Do a bargain. On. Yep. Um, but they approached us because of you guys. So they have seen that we've got a really big following, a really big backing, and a good community, and a great uh, yeah, a grass community. Yep. So they're giving this to give to you. Exactly right. Usually, you get a pen. <laughs> or, a, or a lanyard usually, to give away. but usually. look end of the day what, anything what it is so far you know there's, there's always going to be that one good thing that everyone wants and it's always technology so technology is always awesome that's right you know? that is right um, now going back to it let's say it again you must be in the chat to win so you must be live in the chat to win this so if you are not in the chats and we select your name we're going to give you about 20 seconds to say yes or no and I hope to God you're in here because obviously it's going to have your real name you don't want to have your you know your alias um, now particularly if you are on here 20 seconds maybe 30 we should say it's yeah. a bit of a delay yeah. um, say yes it's me it will verify everything over and hopefully it's all good and we'll go from there if it doesn't and is an issue or concern and we stop the stream we will definitely we'll be redrawing it next Tuesday on Talking Tech once again. Um, so yes, definitely don't. Um, I bloody hope that the person who wins is in, here, is yeah. in this bloody chat. To exactly be honest, right. Because we've got. Look, the, I'll uh, continue on selecting people until someone's here. We've so, got another yeah. big giveaway next week. So. Yeah. Exactly right, Busa. Don't forget, stream is delayed. Exactly right, mate. That's the reason so why we'll, I said. The reason why I said thirty seconds, mate. We'll allow for that. Jo right. Joe's a bit uh, premature. I think it's time. I think it's time. I this is the fun. second biggest giveaway PC 419's ever done, and that's thanks to all our generous uh, sponsors. So thank you very much you for go. each and every single sponsor. Let's draw it. It's exciting. <laughs> Hitting that button, buddy. It's exciting. <laughs> Hitting that button. Hitting that button. All right. Before you hit the draw button, I didn't enter, and I can't. Too late. So, hit it. <laughs> here we go. Congratulations to... to Glenn oh, Graham. Oh, wow. Glenn Graham. Where are you, mate? Mr. Glenn Graham. Glenn Graham. So, entry number 85. So, Glenn Graham. Um, I, will, I will verify the entries, but obviously Twitter's not included. But that is one of his entries. And he visited the B3G website. Thank you very much. And Glenn Graham, are you in the chats? Where are you, mate? Yeah, golf. golf. There he is. He is. There, he, there is. he is. There he is. Congratulations. You've just won yourself a 12.9 iPad Pro. Wow. I knew, I knew it was golf, but anyway. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's go about his email. Yeah, Lazy we, Gamer. Yes, we, we did. We did state that we before state the competition that. was drawn. So It's a big point email. You can change it, change it whenever you like. <laughs> Get a Gmail on. <laughs> so, Mr. Glenn, thank you very much for entering. Now, as a thing for B3G, as always, obviously... Get back out of here. We thank each and every one of you too for obviously following the stuff to enter the comp, liking B3G's page. They are a new company. That's what I was actually about to say. So, yeah. look, bar from this, if you haven't liked PC419, for God's sakes, like it. If you haven't liked B3G um, on their Facebook page, do like their Facebook page. Subscribe to the newsletter as well because obviously we're going to get some new, obviously new products coming out. Yeah. There's yeah. going to be obviously, you know, new specials, I think, I'm pretty sure from them. Um, and also, too, obviously, you know, giving away an iPad. So, do give them some support. Um, so congratulations to that. Beautiful. Don't forget, guys, before you do hop off, we have got this lovely all-in-one cooler available next week. Yep. On next week's stream of Talking Tech, and that is a Mercury 120 provided to us by the lovely people over at Antec. There you go. Yep. So hopefully we should be seeing a lot more things coming through. Um, Lazy Game, have you entered the fifty dollar voucher? That's finished. I do apologise about that's, that. That's next week. Finished, mate. Thank next you, PLE. Week. Next week. Tune in next week. Yeah. Uh, so congrats, Golf. Um, enjoy the iPad Pro. I'm enjoy, sure mate. Everyone Thank here you for being a loyal viewer. He's pissed. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's pissed too. <laughs> Thanks for being a loyal viewer, and thank you for tuning in every week. I really okay. appreciate it. So what are we going to do for our ritual raid? Well, obviously, we got our, um, you know... Who's live? Who's live at the moment? Who's live? Let's have a look. Who here would recommend a raid? Who should we raid tonight, guys? 
For those who don't know, we do a ritual Trance, raid. thank you very much for coming. Sorry I didn't win. Nah, Trance, thanks for tuning in. We'll hopefully see you next week. Hopefully, you can win this guy. What do we got here? Who do we have that's live? Baked beans, no worries, mate. We'll check that after. Wait, sorry? Yes, baked beans, I'll check that, mate. Laters Lazy, thanks for tuning in, mate. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next week. All right, so we've got Foxy. Foxy's on at the moment. That's right, Foxy. We'll raid Foxy? Yeah. Yep, so guys, we're about to, if you want to stay on, we're about to raid Foxy. Yeah, uh, stay on. There's, there's, a, there's a few of us on here. And there is. She's a lovely girl who's just started streaming. She's got her stream set up all nice and pretty. Yes, uh, she's does. currently playing The Forest and absolutely loving it. Let's do that. Oh. Uh, so Lee will put the link in and we will all move to raid we, we Foxy's channel. raid Foxy. That sounds so bad. But... <laughs> <laughs> We're raiding Foxy. See you, Freddy. Take it easy, mate. We'll see you next week. All right, guys. Thank you once again. Thank you, B3G, um, for giving giving us opportunity to actually give away the iPad Pro. Um, next week is Antec, PLE for the $50 gift voucher. Battable for allowing us to sit on their battable chairs and Cooler Master for giving us the MK750 to be used on the show and daily and be, be sure to watch out for the review on that. Guys, we'll see you next Tuesday night and also do say aware if my MBN does get any better, I oh, will be doing a personal live streams every week as well on top of Talking Tech. Um, probably joining into one of the guys here as well while, while they go live. So do stay tuned for the times for that. They will be random at this stage. But we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Take it easy, guys. Start the raid. Start the raid.